Let's talk about the hustler's mindset. If this is your first time here, I want you to watch this whole video from beginning to end and also subscribe. This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is we help people start businesses and we deal with all aspects of starting a business. And the first thing that we're going to deal with is the hustler's mindset. This is something that I've coined many, many years ago. It's about a way of thinking to help liberate you from living an average life. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University at hustlerskungfulifeskills.com. The course that we have showcased today is the Writing for Cash course. You can get 50% off of that course if you leave a comment below the stream and we will reply with the discount code and a link to the course. This course will help you think better and set your goals. So let's get into the hustler's mindset. What exactly is that? And I'm gonna give you a few scenarios. We're gonna talk about pre-Glendon and the after-Glendon. I used to be just like you. I would work a job. If I needed more money, I would work extra hours. I would get a part-time job. I did not understand how to bring value to people where I could create products and services and make money. That was totally foreign to me and more than likely it may be foreign to you. But this was the pre-hustler's mindset. I was an average person. I was, I remember one time I worked seven days a week for two years, never missed a day. And I was so proud of that accomplishment because I was such a hardworking man. I was putting in the work. I was doing what I needed to do to take care of my family. And looking back at the pre-Glendon, I was so uneducated on what makes the world works. I, I was so far away from the situation of creating value where I could get paid and I did not have to work all of these crazy hours. Right now, I still don't work as many hours as I was working during that time period and I work quite a bit but I was putting in probably my 40 plus overtime plus the weekend job. I was probably working about 80 hours a week for two years. And this is one of the things about the hustler's mindset, which is a growth mindset. You don't adopt limiting beliefs. Like the pre-Glendon, I was talking about working a job and working extra. I had a limited mindset. I did not understand what was required for me to go forth in the world, create businesses and thrive. I had no clue. I didn't know what any of that meant. I didn't understand how that worked. And a big part of the hustler's mindset is growth. You don't place limits on yourself. I was a really limited person. I was rooted into a working class upbringing, which instilled in me a lot of false narratives and false notions. So the hustler's mindset deals with truth. On this channel, I've been making a lot of predictions that have been coming true because I'm looking at the truth. I'm not looking at how people want things to be. I'm not look, I'm looking at the truth. And the truth of the matter is, you know, when this video should come out, the states are gonna open up because the calculus of how much money the governments will have to put out is untenable. So they're gonna open up and they're going to try to work this thing around because looking at the cost. And one of the things about the hustler's mindset is you do not bring down your ambition to fit your lifestyle. You raise your lifestyle to fit your ambition. And this is a very, very distinct nuance of the hustler's mindset because, you know, the, one of the biggest things on YouTube right now is the minimalist life. Not buying a lot of stuff, living very simply, not having possessions. And to a, a degree, I agree with a lot of that. You shouldn't have a bunch of stuff in your life that is cluttered. I live in a 5,000 square foot house and I have furniture, but the place isn't cluttered. I've got like the basement right there, it's empty. I don't have a whole bunch of stuff I don't need. 
So I, I do agree with that. But also I agree with the abundance mindset, which is a cornerstone of the hustler's mindset. Right now there's a recession. I'm making more money than I ever made before. And it's a recession because I'm deploying the hustler's mindset. And the, you know, one of the, another critical component of the hustler's mindset is to do more. And this is where people get a little messed up. They get a little off track because right now people are trying to get the most for the least amount of effort and the hustler mindset dictates that you will do more and when you do more you get more. So this is another cornerstone of the hustler's mindset and one of the things I want you guys to understand is the hustler mindset if something if you don't have it right now don't even worry about that. This is something that you can build. This is something you can create. And a big part of setting that up is changing your thinking and changing your habits. Habits are very, very important because I live in the big house and I'm a really clean individual. So this place never really gets messy because I'm in the habit of picking up after myself. So it's never gonna be like a situation of hoarders or one of these crazy houses. But, cause I have the habit of being clean and I make my bed up every day. So my bedroom is nice and orderly. And what I have found out is when my personal life is nice and orderly, so is my professional life. There is a parallel because you, you know, you, you'll see someone who lives in a pigsty and it, it's just, because there was this one chick who was like, she's 35 and why isn't she married? And her apartment looked like a tornado ran through it. So she's really sloppy in her personal life. And I guarantee you, she is sloppy in her personal life and her professional life. And this is one of the things about the hustler's mindset and growing and understanding. Because one of the things that you're gonna do with the hustler's mindset is always seek out personal development. This is never gonna end. This is not going to be one of those things where you'll take a few courses and you're good. Personal development is a lifelong occupation. You, you will always be growing, you will always be pushing yourself. Because once you get the hustler's mindset completely nailed down, doing more, abundance mindset, discipline, and having that growth mindset, your life will become remarkable. The things that you will be able to do, the situations that you will be able to create. Now, what I'm gonna do to help you, because I understand that most of you don't have the hustler's mindset. So what I have done is created a book, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success, and a mindset course which I'm gonna to give to you for free. So you can go ahead and take this course and don't just sign up and don't do anything. Cause this, this is one of the reasons, cause I, I will tell you, cause I have the abundance mindset. At one point I gave away most of my courses away for free. And I did this for many, many months. And what I found out is that people typically don't value a lot of free. And 95% of the people who download those courses never opened up those courses. So don't be that person. Take advantage, listen to the audio book, go through the course three or four times, and this will literally change your life. This will give you so much energy and power and intestinal fortitude. This will toughen you up. It will make you a better person because this is what I went through. This is the process. This is what I did. And this is what got me to the point where, you know, we're in the middle of this pandemic. I, I have no debt. I have two luxury cars in the garage that were paid off. They were paid for before I drove them off the lot. I have an abundance lifestyle. I have an abundance mindset. And I want you to share in that. And this is what this course is gonna do for you if you do the course correctly. Once again, don't just download it because it's free. Download it with the intention of doing the work. The do more principle. The do more principle because this is such a critical part of the hustler's mindset. It's about putting in strategic work. I don't preach just work hard for the sake of working hard. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about doing strategic hard work where you're putting in the work where you are creating such value for yourself. Because this is one of the things, and I was having a conversation with someone because um, one of the videos up here where she got these, this business owner 
got the PPP loan and she got the government stimulus money and her employees were pissed because they were gonna make more money on unemployment and they were in Washington State and Washington State's limit is 653 a week. So they were getting the 653 a week plus the additional $600 from the government. They were gonna make almost $5,000 a month. So this is, you know, this is a whole nother video and I, I won't go too deep into that, but you don't wanna be one of those people. You wanna be an enterprising person because when I was an employee, whoever I worked for, they got my best. I never sat around, I never cheated on time. They got my best effort. And if you are an employee now, you should give your employer your best effort because remember what I was saying about habits? If you make giving your best effort a habit for your employer, when you start your own business, guess what? You're gonna give your best effort. It's not transferable. And many people wanna argue with me that, that they're gonna go off and because it's theirs, they're gonna start doing the right thing. And no, they're not because it's a habit of not performing to your highest level. And if you don't do it for an employer, you're not gonna do it for yourself unless you create the habit. And this is all part of the hustler's mindset because we'll be having more conversations about this. So go below, hit that link, enroll in the course, and be sure to partake in the information that I put on this channel because I have a lot of things here for you. So with that, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. I will see you guys in the next video, which should be around here somewhere.